Hey y'all, it's your girl Rashida and I'm back with another video. Let's tell this story because I just thought about it and I was like, I don't know if it's on my list, but fuck it. I think this will be a very interesting story time to tell, so I'm gonna tell the story time, okay? So this story time, I don't know why I still have this on my head. Like, I don't really need it, but it felt nice on my neck. Um, <laughs> actually I like, kind of like the way it looks. It's kinda like saucy, you know, like a little scarf on the head, you know? Just felt nice. This makes me feel like I have hair. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to feel like, how do I start it? Because it's kind of an interesting way to start it. You know what I mean? Because because the, the reason why it happened is because, like, anyways. Let's just say a few years back, um, your girl was in a relationship, not in this one that I'm with currently. There was a point in time where we had a short little breakup. I think I had a, I think I told this story already actually on my channel. The time where I said um, that I found out my ex was gay. Basically in that video, after that whole thing had happened, watch that video if you don't, if you never watch it again, okay, watch it. Um, because of that happening, basically we had like a weekend break, okay? So this is where this story time comes in because of the fact that there was, in one period of time, there was this guy that I was talking to, not like during my relationship, but he was a friend from school that I had known and I moved away like in, in 12th grade or some shit. So I was kind of like not really associated with anyone from my old high school. But I think me and him connected on like Facebook or some shit, I don't remember, or Snapchat. I don't remember how it happened. I just know we reconnected. And I was like, you know, he's always like the cool, it's always the cool guys. It's always the guys that you think are cool in your head. But then when you try to revisit the relationship, it just gets weird, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell me how, uh, I tell him about the whole situation that happened with my ex, okay? Cause I'm just like in shock. I'm thinking he's my friend, like, yo, I'm confiding in a friend, like, oh my God, like this shit just fucking happened, like just happened to me. I remember him saying something about on the lines of like, yo, like we should hang out, you know, get your mind off things. Like, um, what do you say? Um, we should go watch a movie or something like that. I'm like, okay, shit, like, you know, I'm over here like just trying to figure out my emotions but at the same time I'm like you know what fuck it I haven't seen this guy in a minute me and him were cool that's what I remember okay me and him were cool in high school from grade I think what 9 to 10 11 or something like that I knew this guy he was a cool dude whatever I go from the east end to the west end which is like I was like in a Tobacco area so I meet up with BB okay and first off I'm thinking we're going to the movie theaters okay he told me let's go see a movie so where you go see movies at movie theaters okay back then people didn't have the whole pro actually no, maybe some people had the projectors but like i didn't know a lot of people that had like big flash i don't know there was some flat screens but not like huge flat screen tvs and like you know what i'm saying like things were like you know people were still going to movie theaters people weren't watching stuff at home type shit you know what i mean so i'm like okay so we're we gonna go to the movie theater he's like oh no like we can go watch the movie at my crib like it's cool like you know my dad my dad just stepped out for a moment like we can go watch it at my crib and i'm like okay like thought we we're gonna go to the movie theater but okay like i'm like you know in my head i'm thinking like you know what saves me some coin like i'm thinking i'm gonna have to probably pay not not for him because i was not gonna pay for him but i'm like worst case scenario, i can pay for myself you know whatever so we go to his crib go inside you know price is looking a little interesting I'm like, okay it's a nice decent crib you know it's nice so he sends him to his, go to his room, you know. I'm sitting on like, there's like a bench near his bed, okay? So I sit on the bench. Cause I'm like, I'm not gonna sit in your bed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of like, I don't know your crib. Like, I'm not just gonna sit in your bed. Sit on the bench on the side. And then he was like, we were actually watching, I don't even remember the movie, but I remember we were watching a movie or he was gonna put on a movie that I had watched already. Cause I think, I, I think he told me which movie he wanted to watch. Cause he didn't watch or something like that. And it was like, what movie did you watch? And I was like, there was like a recent movie that came out or something like that. And then he was like, shit, I didn't watch it. But I'm like, I have, but I'm like, it was a good movie. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll watch it again with you. Whatever the case. But um, so yeah, so that happens. I'm sitting on the side of his bed, the like the bench part, whatever bench thing he had beside his bed. He says, I'm like, why are you so far? Like, come, you can come sit on my bed. Like, it's okay. Like, I'm like, okay. Like, you know, I didn't know. Like, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. So I go sit on the side of his bed. Like, I'm not in his bed. Like, I'm at the side of the bed, okay? So he's like, no, nah, like, you can get comfortable. You can get comfortable. Like, you can get under the sheets. Like, you can be comfortable. Like, you know, like, it's okay. Like, it's cool. We're cool. I'm like, okay. Like, shit, you finna, shit, you finna give me some popcorn too? Like, what is it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just have, whatever. So I'm like, can't okay, get, I get in the bed a little bit, you know. My, I'm still kind of close to the edge, okay? 
because I'm because again personal space okay just because we friends and stuff doesn't mean I'm just gonna be all up in your space like we were never that close okay so <laughs> you know what I'm saying I know you're thinking like girl like how'd you not see the signs okay I was fucking what 17 I didn't know sure I was delirious okay clearly <laughs> <laughs> naive okay i was naive i i just saw the good in everybody until i seen some sh until it hit me in the face and i'm like oh and you'll see okay <laughs> so we chilling we're watching the movie whatever i can clearly see at this point that he's not trying to watch the movie like i'm i'm fully invested and i already watched this fucking movie but i'm like this movie is really good i want to watch it again and he's just trying to like put his arm around me and shit i'm like uh are you good like the fuck like we're trying to watch this movie like and it's funny because at that point he was shorter than me he was definitely shorter than me so his arm is like my neck and shit is like kind of like this because it's his, his shit out because it's just like lower than mine so it was so uncomfortable i'm like what the fuck is going on like you ain't gotta do all this and then this man tried to come and kiss me and tell me why his breath I don't know how I didn't smell this before. This, his breath was kicking. I was like, oh my God. Like, even if you thought you had a chance, it was gone at that moment you opened your mouth. Like, that shit was stinking. I'm not gonna cap. Like, and obviously, I'm such a nice person. I'm not gonna tell you, like, oh my God, your breath stinks. Like, I was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Does this really make this Okay, but like if you're trying to make out with someone, wouldn't you make sure your breath doesn't stink? That's the thing, see, not everybody can thinks that far Well, regardless, his breath was stinking. At that point, I'm like, hey, what are you trying to do? Like, are you trying to watch this movie or are you trying to fucking do some shit? And he's like, you know, like I thought, you know, you came over here to know to like, you know, have some fun and da 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 da. Like, let's be honest though. I set myself up though. I'm on no cap. Like I set myself up. I should have known from the moment he sent a dick picture to me that that was what he was on. I don't know what was wrong with me. Clearly I was delirious. Clearly I was looking for attention outside of myself and I was like, I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need this. This man's breath stinks, okay? So, but you know what? I, I was even also more so going off the chance of like, this guy was a cool dude from what I remembered in high school. I was like, this guy's cool. Like. He never gave me bad vibes before, but clearly because I wasn't in his personal space and that shit gave me all the bad vibes, okay? All the bad fucking breath, okay? At that point, I basically told him like, I wasn't on that shit. Like I just got literally out of a relationship. I'm like, I'm not finna go, like, who do you think you, who do you think I am? I just got out of a relationship and you trying to fuck me the next day? Like, no, I'm not that type of girl, okay? Hell fucking no, okay? So, I, I basically cut it off. I'm like, yo, I'm I'm not even into the movie no more. So I cut. I'm like, yo, I'm about to leave still. Like, like there's nothing here for me, basically. Like, I just cut. Then he, like, walks me to, like... I think... I'm trying to remember if he walked me to the bus stop. I think he did. I'm trying to think if he did or not. I feel like he did. He definitely walked me to the bus stop. But I just remember... You know when you ever have that moment where you're just at someone's house... And just like I'm never coming back here again. That was literally that moment. Um, after that, because like, as soon as that shit happened, I don't remember. I'm trying to remember if he did walk into the bus or not, but I feel like he did. I think he did. I don't know. But regardless, as soon as that bus left, but bus left. As soon as that bus left, I said I'm never seeing this man again, and I never have. <laughs> I've never have, yo bro like i'm just like that was such a weird moment in time when that shit happened because i'm just like why the fuck did i put like i literally put myself in a situation and it's like the signs were there showing me but it's like i was just in, i was just so caught in the entertainment of the fact that someone was trying to entertain me type shit and i was just like nah this isn't me still but regardless i hope you guys enjoyed this little story time uh, this is probably my first time even telling a story. I think the only person that's heard it is my hubby. I told him so many stories. <laughs> but I never told this story before, so that's the end of me and BB, right? That's the name, BB. <laughs> but with further ado, hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't just know more story time is coming because you know I love I love to talk. Okay, so see you guys on the next one. Peace.